Pretty with the Penn president in the hot seat on Capitol Hill, Liz McGill testified today about anti-Semitism on campus, promising again to step up security. McGill faced backlash, criticism, and even calls for resignation over her response to the Israel-Hamas war. Action News race and culture reporter Taronda Thomas is live now on Penn's campus. Taronda, Penn's president wasn't the only university leader called to testify today. No, she wasn't. The presidents of Harvard, American, and MIT were all called to testify before the House Committee on Education and Workforce. Now, while some lawmakers kept their questions nonpartisan and calm, it didn't stay that way. You said something earlier about anti-Semitism being symbolic of the larger society. Your university is a hotbed of it. UPenn President Liz McGill facing criticism on Capitol Hill for what's happening on her campus. Jewish students undoubtedly felt very uncomfortable following that. I'm sure that's true, yes. McGill was one of four university presidents called to answer questions about growing anti-Semitism on college campuses. In recent months, some UPenn donors have pulled funds and called for McGill's resignation, accusing her of not having a strong enough response against anti-Semitism. Some of that debate was sparked by a Palestinian literature festival in September. It included speakers who have a history of making anti-Semitic comments. Did you have the power to stop this event? I don't cancel or censor them in advance of their arrival to campus. When when she wasn't on the defense, McGill was touting UPenn's efforts, including an action plan against anti-Semitism, a new student group, and an acknowledgement that Muslim students have faced increases in hate, too. We will continue to deploy all the necessary resources to support any member of the community experiencing hate. The director of UPenn Hillel, a Jewish campus organization, tells Action News, quote, addressing anti-Semitism will take a coordinated approach involving university administrators, government officials, leading Jewish organizations like Hillel and the broader community. McGill also testified on the challenges of balancing student safety with free expression, saying UPenn will take comprehensive action to combat anti-Semitism. I think it's important to call out anti-Semitism uh, in a very visible and public way. You are looking at another measure that UPenn has taken, increased security at its Hillel with the police officers there pretty much around the clock. Now, McGill testified also that the university is looking to add curriculum on anti-Semitism to its educational curriculum here at the University of Pennsylvania. We are live in University City, Taronda Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah? Okay, Taronda, thank you. Officials